Hey guys, welcome to your November 2021 reading. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Libra. My name is Angel. Welcome to Akashic Affirmations. Um, guys, the way my readings work, if is if spirit comes through and has something to say, I will stop the reading, but I will continue, okay? Um, I don't want anybody to be scared. Doing meditation, Libra, um, I seen it was um, not a baby, but it was a ball, okay? And then it showed me going down a birth canal, and I was... I was like, okay, well, what's the ball fitting in the corner of a triangle for? But that's when they gave me birth canal. So it could possibly be someone is about to have a baby or you're birthing something. But let's see what the universe would like to say. Now I have um, clenched your cards and prayed so okay we're done all right guys let's see libra what's the main energy for the reading I see it. The chariot. So you may be dealing with a cancer. Um, but either way, this is uh, maintaining stead balance through working through a difficult situation. You, this is something that you have to use. See not how the horse is. One's white and one's black. You have to use both of your yin and yang to um, to achieve this. Your feminine and masculine, we all have it within us. King of Pentacles. So this is this person is stable. Um, he has a dog at his side. Um, he is very um, honored. Okay, I see how he is. Um, he has the attention. Okay, or the the uh, the trust. Okay, there you go. The trust of this dog. Um, so you may. Uh, this library seems um, very important for some reason, but um, this man is the king of stability. Okay. He masters his finances. He may have a dog um, that is very loyal. The lovers. So there, um, and what's sticking out to me is this Libra. Um, this is the sign of the archer. So you may be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, that really has never stuck out to me before or um you know you may have tattoos or you may have tattoos but either way the lovers is an indifference okay um between that so let's see what else we have come out nine of cups wish fulfillment okay with the full so this is a brand new beginning that um, you wished for, okay? That's great. This is this is a wish fulfilled that came through for you and your partner. Um, that your partner moved through, right? And and be that. You know, there's a warrior guiding this chariot, okay? You actually have to do something. Um, like I said, he's the king of stability. So let's see what we got. 
you're getting the four of cups in the world so yeah you um there was something that you uh see how she's just not having it she's like how in the world can we get through this how in the world can we get through this because i need a cycle completion in my life this has to change I need to nurture. See, she's pregnant. She embodies all four queens. I need to nurture something fast. Um, I'm holding on to something. See, close to her heart. Emperor, so you're not you're not budging. You have things to do. You know you're pregnant, either nurturing this new cycle completion. Okay, actually. Paying attention to it, doing the the motions right with the, with the chariot. Um, you're not giving up. This is bold and brave action. He embodies all four kings. Okay, so you're now dealing with a couple sandwiched by movement of holding on. Ten of Wands, this is too many burdens to be carrying, okay? All the burdens do is keep piling up, and you'd have to you have to tow them with you, unless you take care of them. So, here it comes. Ace of Pentacles, new tangible beginning. Um, could possibly be um, with an er, I mean, uh, air sign, but um, overall, this is making a logical decision towards something brand new okay this is a brand new beginning so you're making a logical decision to do the right thing look you're healing getting information downloads right from source you could be dealing with um, a water sign, okay? But this is healing from a message of love that was given to you. Okay, pages or messengers. So there was some type of message, a romantic message, okay? Something that has your, um, your heart involved in it. Okay, something brand new. You're healing from. Or you're healing for. Let's see. High Priestess using your intuition on this leap of faith. So someone may be healing. You may be healing because someone offered you that. Okay, so you're using your third eye. Okay to take that new uh, inspiration into the unknown. Okay, you see how she's throwing that one and she's just tossing it up into the air. Right? Guys, if this reading is resonating with you, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, but this is happening and it is nights or movement. There are past pages, right? They're the next stage up. It actually takes a horse, say, to move. Um, this is movement, but it's slow and steady, okay, towards this brand new beginning. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, let's see what the bottom of the deck was. 
Look, there's a ten. Out of the ten of the ten, okay, in the tarot you have to look at the next card. There is no next card after the ten because ten is a completion. You have nowhere to go but up. Okay, so she's looking into the distance. Um, this is mental burdens, stress, okay? And it has to do a lot with you working. Okay, so just, um, you know, spirit understands, look, but you're stuck, okay, doing it. Um, spirit understands, guys, you know, um... I mean, look at the way Jesus, she, she, he had to walk to his own death. My God, I think about that all the time. How You have to be so strong. And I know he, he collapsed quite a few times, but or I think I think at least once or twice. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, we're, we're all human. We're all walking on this earth. Okay? And God understands that. So I see the Ten of Pentacles along with Three of Swords, y'all. And then there's that fool. I see the Three of Swords again at the bottom just now. What would you like to tell Libra? I don't do reversals. Um, Page of Swords, message of problems. Um, you know, this is family. Okay, so this is something you really care about. Okay, and this is this is making you move. This is this is giving this is arousing your passions. Um, it's probably something to do with your children. I don't exactly know how this come out. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. She is resourceful. Um, she has the Midas touch to make things happen. Okay. I think it was this one, which is giving you the the warmth, the um. You know, you d you need to feel the light in a situation for movement, right? Um, the Wheel of Fortune's coming in. Um, destiny, okay, something out of your control is giving you options at this time. What's the options? Okay, so you're getting Seven of Swords. This is the Thievery card. All right. You're getting a Page of Cups. This is that message of love. Oh, wanting a brand new... So, this is kind of taking your love life away. Okay, it's robbing you of... You know, your sex life, the message of love. You know what I mean? It's it's a robbing you of all of that. It's a rob something's robbing your family. You have taken the action towards having the Midas touch, okay? And bringing the light to the situation. Destiny's coming in with choices, though. You feel like you're being robbed of of a new beginning with a person this person tried to give you something and it's like but I can't because um, it, 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 it's a problem for this and, and, and I received the message from it okay so let's see what does let's see what the bottom of the deck was Oh, jeez, I'm peach. You can't make this up. The chariot again. Okay? Movement. It's going to use... You, you have to look up the yin and yang. Okay? Your masculine and feminine aspects of yourself. 
and combine the two. Make sure that you fulfill the feminine. Make sure you fulfill the masculine. Okay? Roles in your own life. You know, and, and Spirit's telling me this. Um, Spirit only gives you what you deserve, what you need, what is required for you at the time, on your timeline, okay? A person that is in need, okay, because they feel that in this spread you feel that you're in need of another individual. Um, to fulfill that other aspect of your life and we all do okay that's how human life works but we also need to come as a whole person first and with that being said we're going to work with the moonology deck spirit Two halves have to equal the whole, right? But you have to come together as each, as a whole person. You know, I kind of, kind of, I, I like to do it like this. This person needs to be whole, and this person needs to be whole to come together as one. That's the way I do it. There can't be no codependency issues or issues will arise. And I'm not saying that housewives don't have, but you need to um, take on that role. Um, you know, if it's a housewife, then she needs to cook, clean, take care of the kids, the house, right? The yard. Um... You know, if it's a masculine energy, then he may need to, you know, do his role. And it, it takes that yin and yang, right, to make up everything. So we're going to see spirit for Libra for November 2021. What's the most... What's the messages you like to say? Whoa, gee whiz. Okay. Give me two more. Alrighty, guys, let's see. For Libra, a new start is coming. We know that with the full, right? New moon could be happening then. Emotions are running high. Super moon. That is when our emotions are at, you know, it, it affects everybody with the super moon and. Uh, adjustments are required, okay? Third quarter moon. So you may need to make some adjustments around this time, okay? For the new start. Third quarter moon. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. And you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So, guys, I see that um, you know what you need to do. You know some adjustments need to be made. You know, um, you may need to take, I keep wanting to say retreat, but a retreat net you know just may not be something you pay for it could just be a blanket in the park by yourself you know just as a, a reflection 
what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting in a spirit. Okay, hang on, because spirit just said my name. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I think they were kind of aggravated with me just now because they were like, um, you're not asking me for my advice. To be truthfully honest, I do have a new guide. Um, maybe that is why they wanted me to um, explain this to you. Her name is Emily, and she is she's 12 years old, and she is from Florida. Um, she 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 picked I picked up on her. Um, Matter of fact, it was at a truck stop, y'all. She, yeah, um, it was a different building I was in, but it, there was a truck stop next to. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I, I know that Sela breathe. Breathe deeply. Your breath draws life giving oxygen into your body. When faced with difficulties, remember to breathe. Nothing is ever solved when you hold your breath. There may be something you are opposed to. Don't fight it. Allow the flow. Now may be the time to breathe some new life into what you have pushed aside. And honesty. Be honest with yourself. Be honest in your thoughts. What could you try to hide? There are no secrets in the universe. Tell the whole story. Don't hold back. Allow yourself to be open and honest. And the world is open and honest with you. Create pearls of wisdom and jewels of delight. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was create. Great pearls of wisdom and jewels of delight flow into an honest heart. Let it be yours. Oh, is that is so true, guys. You know, they can't even stress that enough. Um, a person's not going to give somebody a ring unless they're honest. I'm just saying. So, if you have that issue, guys, work on it. Breathe. <sighs> Be honest with yourself and others. It goes a long way. And guys, like I said, if this reading resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up. And um, I will see y'all in December. Alright guys, I hope y'all Thanksgiving goes great. Namaste.